Good morning, good afternoon, good evening across the country, around the world. Welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. Uh, here we are at the KSC, as you can see. Uh, I just played for about an hour on my own. I did about four satellite missions. I think about two to Minmus, two to the Moon, one to Minmus. I don't know. I did four satellite missions, and I went out at 2.4 million space bucks square root bucks i don't know whatever that's called um so we got lots of cash to do stuff so we're going to continue with the arcadia station and then i'm debating um uh, what mission to do next I mean, we've got a few do no do no do no i'm not ready for those yet and eve we're doing the station honestly what we're going to do is conclude what we're going to do now is going to actually satisfy that mission at least i think it will um service outpost on minmus Oh, an explore menace. Oh, that's the docking still. And plant a flag. Uh, expand in the space station. Plant a flag on the moon surface. So these these are ones I can finish off camera. Exploring menace, which is still docking two vessels, which is a little bit annoying. But we might do that somehow. Plant a flag. We'll do that when we build the surface outpost. That's going to be a pretty big one. I don't know if we're going to tackle that right now. We might. We might tackle that right now, just because that's pretty big. Uh, but it's got to... Antenna docking port and generate power. And here in Capcom it tells you all the parts that are acceptable for that. So that's kind of awesome. Um, supporting 18 Kerbals. That'll be easy to do with the uh, oversized stock alike parts expansion. Uh, research lab. Again, pretty easy. Three pilots on the outpost. That's the part that's a little bit of a headache. And then 1,500 units of monitor repellent on the outpost. That also might be a headache. That might take some creative construction. We'll see. Um, but that, I think, yeah, we, we can probably tackle that. But first, um, I'm going to do something in the VAB. Uh, I had one viewer, I think a subscriber, make a request. DC Red 123 requested that I rename the uh, big, big, big heavy lifter. And we're going to do that. Um, you can't, it is the big launcher, or it was the big launcher. I've actually shortened this top section because otherwise it was the full size fuel tank. And so much it was just wasted. So I, I shrunk that down a bit. So that'll help be a little more efficient. Um, even though that, oh geez, just this right here is a quarter mil. Whew. That's where all the expense is. Um, but we are going to go ahead and some assembly. He requested it was named DC, I think, hyphen. Redstone. Rocket. Save. And there you have it. And then because it's the same thing as the big launcher, where'd it go? Yeah, we can get rid of this guy up here. Oh, no, I meant trash. Yes, delete. Go away. Cool. So there that is. Um, we're going to slap on a part on the top of this. I believe I'm going to land. Launch? Mm -hmm. I'm going to launch up the. Yeah, we're going to launch. What am I thinking of? We're gonna. Oh, I gotta fix the staging on this though. Let's do that real quick. Um, rockets there. Which one are you? You must be down below, cause you are that one. Rockets there. Uh, I know the launch clamps are second, and then ah the separators. Yeah. Otherwise, this will all just come flying apart at one time. Separate, and then that. I like having those things separated just for that extra level of control. I'm not OCD, although a friend at work today was just saying, no, some OCD is good. Thank you, I think. So again, we'll take DC Redstone Rocket and overwrite, yes. Anywho, we're going to launch up the, I believe, the utility arm, the main utility arm to the uh, space station Arcadia. Um, I've already got it pre-built, but I, I have some ideas for some modifications to it. So I'm going to take care of that right now. I'll see you in space as we're coming into dock. Or once we have docked, because this is all, you know, a pain to dock. Anywho, yeah, see you in space. Okay, we're in space with the, uh, what is the utility arm wrapped away inside this fairing. We'll do the reveal in just a moment. The DC Redstone rocket performed admirably as usual, despite my less than stellar navigation. We actually flipped around, lost our apoapsis, and then had to flip back to go. I, yeah, I was fat fingers on the controls. But again, she performed admirably. I noticed before I launched the whole package with the diesel redstone rocket at the bottom is about 350,000 
Kerbal Space Bucks. The DC Redstone Rocket is about 250,000 Kerbal Space Bucks. So just the utility piece inside is like 100,000. That makes sense. I mean, getting into space is expensive. Anyway, we are in a stable orbit now. So we can go ahead and reveal. Poof. So there she is, not that fancy, not that much to look at, but I think it's pretty cool. We'll extend the solar panels once we're there. I think we should be fine for power. Yeah, we have 20,000 <laughs> units of electric charge. Uh, we dropped that fairing, but inside here is actually another fairing, and you can see the things are inside of it. I, but I'm going to keep that fairing because it's I like the look of it. But inside, here we go. So monitor propellant, a stabilizer, and ooh, 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 you can just see some batteries and a probe core. But those guys are going to stay tucked away inside that fairing. That fairing is, like, off-limits. Can you lock a fairing? No, you can't. That's okay. Well, again, we're not going to touch it. But we got a couple fuel tanks, which are empty because it's heavier and more expensive to send it with fuel. Uh, a bunch of monopropellant, which are also empty. Oh, okay. Well, that's cool. We got the monopropellant inside. Is there monopropellant? Yes, that monopropellant is there. How much do we have? It looks like there's so little because it's only so full. But we can definitely dock other things with this to refuel it. But I just wanted to send this up to get it there, right? This is all empty. What about these guys? Yeah, they're all empty. So we'll dock it probably with this bottom piece still attached. And then whatever fuel we have, whatever monitor propellant we have, we will transfer that across just because. So uh, that's the arm. We now have to orchestrate our our uh, encounter. So we are below it by a bit. We're in an orbit of, what is that, 95? What's our periapsis? 84 and 103. And this is 151, 124. Oh, wow, that's really off. That space station is all kinds of wonky. Uh, we might straighten that out a bit now, too. Um, so it'll take a little bit. I mean, we can, if we time warp, yeah, it's fast as we can go. It's going to take a few orbits to catch up to it. Again, I wasn't that close. I didn't look that closely at it. Oh, well. Um, so I'm going to go back to the tracking center, intercept, and we'll dock it. I'll see you once it has been docked. Well, we just got her docked. The first of the six major arms for the space station Arcadia, our giant utility arm. Uh, that actually went really smooth. That was way easier to control than these guys. I don't know whether it's just this is bigger and it took more oomph. I don't know, but it was great and easy to do. Um, yeah, because it, it lined up and it was spot on. And it once it settled to a, to a rotation, it sat at like 90.1 degrees. And it just stayed there. It was solid. It was amazing. Um... Did we not satisfy the space station mission yet, though? Kerbin, can generate power. Oh, we don't have an antenna yet. That's right. Uh, yeah, we'll put an antenna on the on the science station. Uh, but uh, again, a little bit of housekeeping here. Let's take you out of the way, and you, and you, and we're gonna transfer all the fuel out of this stage. And then we're going to separate. Oh, geez, that's going to take forever, isn't it? Okay, let's time warp and all that's transferred. Good. Um, and then these guys are empty. Those guys are full. You know what, Leia? Let's, let's transfer, yeah, most of this. Boop. Um, and you know, we're just going to transfer it all into this guy just because he's one central location to put it into. Boom. Plus he can take it all, whereas I'd have to parcel it out to, to all these other little bits. And we'll do that later, but not yet. Good. So that guy's done. It's a dummy piece as well, so it'll just drop off and I will dispose of it. Um, yes, so let's quick save real quick. We can do that now. Uh, that's, that's that, and then that's, yes, so. Poof, goodbye. Oh, wait, there it is. Once in a while, when you come from map mode to regular mode, it doesn't want to do things like that. So, that's there. That'll go bye-bye very shortly. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, ooh, yes. And I I need, I need what's it called? I need action groups. 
I there's a mod or two for action groups. I think I might uh, look into those because I I want to be able to to edit action groups on the fly. Beautiful. And again, if you've seen my uh, whoa, if you go to my channel and you see my my uh that was a funny little with the mouse here. See my channel art? That space station there? That's kind of what we're going for. So all of these outer arms are going to have solar panels that kind of stick out like this because I think it looks cool. Maybe not necessarily on the top and the bottom, but we'll probably do it equally. Um, oh, that comes out interesting. Oh, but still. So we have these on the sides here. Um, yeah, that's where I want them. Well, that's there now. <laughs> we have these on the sides here just for any other chunky things we want to attach. Like I said, eventually I think we'll attach some um, ore tanks onto that and then maybe some uh, some ISRUs, the uh, convertitrons, to, to these guys to, to further uh, make this thing useful. But we've got some fuel in these guys. I actually transferred fuel before I separated and ran with this stage. I transferred the fuel from the last stage up into these guys, just so that it would I, I could conserve as much fuel as possible. Otherwise, I was, I was like, eh, we don't need this. It's easier to maneuver with just this, because there was no RCS, or there was minimal RCS on this. Um, yeah, so there we are with the first arm, the utility arm of the Arcadia. And then, yeah, I think these two sides here are going to be docking arms. And I have some ideas for that. I haven't pre-built those, whereas I have pre-built the, um, the science arm. And then these two will be the Habitation arm. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I'm sorry. Other way around. Habitation arm and then science arms. Two science arms. We're going to need a bunch of... Do I want... Oh, that's a lot of scientists. That's eight scientists that I'm going to need to do science up here. No. I think we'll do... Yeah, we'll just do one science arm and then two habitation arms. And like I said, these will be docking arms. And I have some ideas for those to make them out and then actually have it kind of a... Kind of a cavey, cavernous wraparound... Uh, station or, or docking space there maybe have one that's kind of cavernous one that's just kind of like spokes that different vehicles can dock to i don't know uh, and we can of course dock giant the big clampatrons to there and 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 also to the outsides of these but uh yeah that's the first of six of the big major arms of the docking or of the dock well yeah of the space station arcadia and i'm quite pleased with how that came together and with the fact that the thing didn't blow up Yes, uh, but that, we were at, what, 2.4 million? Now we're at 2 million. So that cost, yeah, that cost, like I said, 350,000. We can't do that indefinitely, but it's something we can do. Oh, I forgot. I meant to attach lights to light things, but eh, this is utility. Who cares? Um, we'll put some light on the other ones. Is this, are you getting anything? You are. Teeny bit. And you're almost 100%. Good. So, um, yeah. The other ones, we'll definitely, we'll definitely put light on the docking arms, because we want those to be lit so you can see where you're flying. And then the habitation and science. So those guys will be lit. And the utility will be a little darker, not the end of the world. Maybe we'll try to point something across at them. Yeah. Well, um, that's all the time I have for recording tonight. So I think we will end it here. Uh, let's quick save real quick, just so that I know this guy is nice and safe. Oh, I love the way this is coming together, though. That, that came together really nice and smoothly. Uh, let's pop back down to the space station, though. Just do a quickie little recap there. Oh, I totally forgot to set a timer. I don't even know how long this is. Probably somewhere around the 20-minute mark. Maybe 25. Um, Short-ish for what I do, but that's all the time I have to record for tonight. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to get to record again in the next few days. Come on. There we go. Okay. So what do we got? I don't really want to rescue anyone. A satellite in the orbit. Orbital. Eh. We have lots of missions still. Minmus, flag on Minmus, a flag on the moon, sign of air from the surface of the moon. So, we'll do another lander to the moon. That's not a big deal. Ooh, we can do that when we expand the space station Aurora. Maybe that's what we'll do next, because that's already there, and we can we can add things. Yeah. Ooh, that's a lot of liquid fuel, though. But doable. We can keep sending up more more refuelers and, and, and do all that stuff. Antenna, it already has those. 18 Kerbals, that's easy with the big pieces we have. Liquid fuel and maintain stability. I think if we look at it here, do, 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 expand. This I think tells us yes. So that's what, how much fuel we have. So we need to triple the fuel that's on there, uh, and 
I only get some of the checks because we're not in command of it. Let's do that real quick. Just to see where we are, because I'm I I admit I'm a little bit just sucking up time right now. Wind station Aurora, fly it, and then we can see what all we have to do to it. Mainly just adding capacity. Not the end of the world. I say that a lot. I recently got a comment from someone from an old episode uh, I, that I say anywho too much. Uh, it is not my intention to say anything too much. Um, oh yeah, we can... There's not a docking port. No, no docking port on there. But we can easily add stuff here. Um, we might even send up a better lander. Maybe not. We need to plant a flag stuff. We can still find a different biome to do that with. And did I ever refuel? I did not. But there's still... Yeah. And... Yeah. Um... So oh, that's what we're going to look at, how this stacks up now that we are actually here. So command and orbit, ensure 18, an auxiliary f uh, viewing cupola, so it wants another one. And then, like I said, you got to triple the fuel that's on board. But that's, that's, just send up three more of these guys and you're good for that. And honestly, we'll try to transfer whatever we have when we dock these pieces into this, so that'll help increase that as well. So that might take a couple of missions, but that's what we'll focus on next. N next next uh yeah i think for the next few episodes i'll show a a new piece attaching to the arcadia and then we'll jump over to do something else this one took a little bit longer because i was showing off the pieces at the beginning and the reveal and things like that so yeah uh that's it for this episode thanks for watching thanks for hanging out if you'd like hit like hit subscribe tell your friends tell your neighbors pass the word i will catch you later